Hey guys, just Donna from Order of Tear here, here to talk about something completely unrelated. Books, my favorites. Specifically, fantasy books. Something super nerdy for your day. I'm going to start out with my ultimate favorite of all time. Terry Goodkind. Um, Sword of Truth series, amazing books. This one happens to be my favorite. Faith of the Fallen. As you'll notice, it's an autographed copy. How sweet is that? They actually made a video series out of them. I'm not sure what station it was on. I didn't really watch it much because it wasn't that good. If I had watched the video series before reading the books, I might have actually liked it. But I read the books first. The series just wasn't that good. It couldn't compare. So, you should read the books. This one is the best one. Um, starts out very fantasy -y, and later gets very political. Um, I, a lot of people complain about the political side of it. I really like it. It deals with issues of freedom and having your own freedom to do what you want with your life and live how you see fit, and I really like those themes. So if you're up for that, read these books. Read these books. Moving on. Tolkien, Lord of the Rings. Um, also very incredible books. Even more incredible, the movies. If you haven't seen the movies, you've probably been living under a rock. Um, but if you haven't seen them yet, you should because they are amazing. Uh, the books are also amazing. The movies are pretty much exactly like the books, except for one character is not in the book. Or, not in the movie that's in the book, but he's not really a main character anyways, so. Some people complained about it. It didn't bother me at all. The books are fun, but also frustrating to read because every person has about six different names and every place has about six different names. So, a lot of the time you're going, where are they? Who is talking? I had that problem a lot, um. Maybe those of you out there reading this book are smarter than I am, um, but I definitely got a little frustrated at times being like, who is that? And why have I never heard that name before? So, yeah. But still worth the read. Um, I think this is the only time I've ever thought that the movies were as good as, if not better than the book. That shows how good the movies truly are. They are incredible. Of course, it takes nine hours to sit down and watch them all in sequence, but totally worth it. Just get yourself a huge, huge, you know, super-sized bag of popcorn that will last you for nine hours and sit down and watch them because it's totally worth it. You will not regret it. Okay, next book. I don't have the, the initial book from this series. Um, a Game of Thrones. I borrowed it from my sister. She she has it. But A Feast for Crows. This is a part of the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. Um, very excellent books. And so excellent, in fact, that HBO has just come out with a series, a video series, of this particular book series. Um, I haven't watched it. I've heard it's really awesome, but... Kind of like with the Sword of Truth series. I feel like I got burned. I'm not really sure I want to go watch that series. Um, plus, the problem with these books is that they might never get finished. I'm pretty sure the last installment of this particular series took about 10 years to come out. In fact, it's coming out this summer. Beep, beep. Um, and there are no you know, guarantees that it actually will get finished. And the guy, George R. R. Martin, he's getting older. Not so sure he's going to be around long enough to take another ten years to finish his series. So, uh, it's kind of dicey. Yeah, I think you should risk it and go ahead and get into the series because the books are truly amazing. <laughs> amazing, very interesting. Very much want to know what's going to happen in the end. Um... And even without the guarantee that that's going to happen, it's still worth it to read them. Uh, and, you know, after ten years, you kind of forget what happened in the first books anyway. So if they don't get finished, not a big deal. At least you get to enjoy them. Um, 
during the time that you're reading them. So, yeah. That is a glimpse into my super nerdy fantasy uh, book-loving life. Um, hopefully you will find a new series to enjoy. I love book series. Oh my gosh. And I don't own these books, but the Twilight series, yes, I am a fan. I know it's super nerdy. I don't really like the movies. Um, in fact, I haven't even seen the newest one. And the only reason I saw New Moon is because a friend of mine owned it and made me watch it. Uh, not a fan of those, but the books, they're amazing. Especially if you're a teenage girl, which I am not, but I still like them. Uh, so, yeah, just a look into my nerdy, fantasy-loving book life. Um, hope you enjoyed. This is Just Donna's Happy Fun Time Hooray, signing out.